Today I'll be showing a definite integral calculator I made. As you can see, the calculator is right here. It is very long. So right here we'll have our output display, which is in binary. And then we'll have our whole system right here. And our inputs are over here at this yellow circuit. So right here we can see we're having 15x plus 15x squared plus 15x to the third. So we're going to take the definite integral of that between the bounds of 0 and 0 0.125 as our first problem. So this just entered the problem as 0 0.125 and now it is calculating. Could take up to about 10 seconds and then we'll need to flip this lever off and then on again to clear all the data and then put in the correct data at the answer slot. So we'll turn this off and then we'll turn it back on and then now we can go down and see the correct answer. As you can see the answer is 2 and 71 512 which in decimal is 2.13 eight six seven one eight seven five and then we're going to divide this by eight to get the definite integral so that would be just shifting over to right here and that according to the machine would be 0 0.26 and the actual definite integral is 0 0.127 because this method is Euler's method is just an approximation of the integral and a, high, a lower delta x, which would mean more iterations, would mean a more accurate answer. But we only have a delta x of 0 0.125 instead of, say, like 1 over 1024, because it's absurd to use that many iterations. So that is the first test problem. We'll do another test problem. The next one we'll do will be between 0 and 0 0.12, uh, 0 0.25 so we'll just iterate this one more time like this and that's already 0 0.25 because I, we just did the extra iteration to put in the correct answer down here so from this decimal place it is 7 and 31 512 and we can see it'll be 7.060546875 in decimal and then we'll divide that by 8 which we can get approximately 0 0.88 and the actual definite integral is 0 0.56 which obviously there is a error bound because my delta x is pretty big so our third test problem is going to be a bit larger it will be between 0 and 1 so we'll need to iterate this until 1 so we'll just keep iterating and right now we're at 0.5 so we need to do about 4 more so we'll wait a little bit between each and that's probably good and then we'll clasp that data and we'll be waiting and then we can turn it off and we'll turn it back on and as you can see this calculator just uses multipliers and bit shift that's what the green circuit is So basically this is representing 0 0.125 as 1 in the multiplier and then once it gets out of the multiplier we're dividing it all by 8. And there is 1 being entered but we'll need to press it one more time after 1 in order to get the 1 display. So it has probably gone through by now and then we'll just click it one more time and then we should get the information to display correctly
and yes it is displayed correctly so from this decimal point it will read 153 and 9.30 seconds as a simplified fraction and that is 153.28125 in decimal and then we can divide that by 8 to get about 19.16 from this decimal place right here and the actual integral is 16.25 which again this uses an approximation because of the delta x is pretty um, big but if you made the delta x closer to epsilon it would get more accurate the more iterations you have so that is our definite integral calculator and that's how it works using summation and Euler's method I hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure to like and subscribe and see you next time.